In today's video, my daddy is going to show you how he uses a liquid acrylics for the outlining of his paintings. That's right, Maya. You're going to be watching me paint while I tell you the story of how I developed the technique. So make sure you stay until the end, as Maya is going to give you a short demonstration of how I mix the paint in order to pour it. That's my favorite part. So sit down tight and enjoy. When I started painting, I used to create very abstract pieces. They were mostly color degradations with no figures in them. Customers liked them because they were very decorative, but personally, I felt that I wanted to do, I don't know, something more challenging that better reflected my own personality and helped me establish my own particular style. If you feel like it later, you can watch the video in the card above where I talk a little bit more about what art style is and how I developed mine. As I struggled to find what I was looking for, I went back to my beginnings and what I loved to draw most, cartoons. I then started incorporating more figurative images into the paintings. But as you know, cartoons have these pesky black outlines and I was not able to recreate that element using the paintbrush, at least not to my liking. One day, I was watching this really cool movie about the life of painter Jackson Pollock. In case you don't know who he is, Pollock is one of the most influential artists of the abstract expressionist movement. You have probably seen some of his paintings at some point. This particular one, Red Composition, sold at auction for close to 18 million dollars. Anyhow, in one scene in the movie, he is seen struggling to come up with an idea for a commission he needed to make for Peggy Guggenheim. As he's kneeling next to the pain, painting he had started, he failed to notice that his still wet paintbrush was dripping freely over the canvas. Instead of freaking out, he went with it and started splattering paint all over the canvas. Following his already developed sense of composition, color, and value, he proceeded to develop one of the most recognized styles in art history. That night, I went to bed and dreamt about using liquid paint to create my outlines. I saw myself dripping thick black paint right over the already painted elements, closing them up and bringing my images to life. Head, eyes, ears, legs, hands, feet, all coming together as the comics of old I used to read. I started by liquefying the black paint and using a paintbrush to apply it. Unfortunately, it was not as easy as Pollock made it look, at least not for what I wanted to create. The looseness of the paintbrush prevented me from controlling it sufficiently enough to draw out the lines and there was a lot of excess dripping and lots of yelling. I kept asking myself, how can I garner the liquid property of the acrylic paint with enough control to attain the desired outcome? The paint is liquid enough to fall freely, barely controllable by the flick of my hand and wrist. At the same time, it is consistent enough to adhere to the canvas and not appear runny. I love how inaccurate the lines look. Just as in real life, perfection is better left to nature. Controlling the squirt bottle is challenging and it's very tied to the consistency of the mixture and the size of the opening of the bottle. 
but the more I practiced, the better I got. Until now, it appears as second nature to me. Finally, I really enjoy signing my paintings. I try to incorporate the signature as much as I can into the work by using the same black lines as I do for the outlines. Next, Maya will show you the formula I use to mix the paint in the bottles. First, take an empty squirt bottle like this one. Second, pour this much black paint. Third, pour this much glazing medium. Finish up with this much gloss varnish. After you mix the paint, you start the outlining. It doesn't look easy as it looks. Daddy? Oh. So, did you learn something today? Yeah! Now I know how to do outlining for my paintings. Awesome! We hope that you guys enjoyed it too. So please... Punch that subscribe button! And the little bell to get notifications when our next video is about to come out. Thank you for watching and we see you next time.